Hello, Pure Virtual. Welcome to C++ Dynamic Debugging. My name is David Lee, the Game Dev Product Manager at Visual Studio. Today, I'm thrilled to share our latest advancements in the C++ debugger. Over the past five years, I have spoken to many game developers, whether it is through social media, through surveys, or even at conferences. Through the conversations, I've continued to learn that one thing is on top of everyone's wish list, and that is the ability to fully debug optimized builds. Well, today, I'm excited to share that you can finally do that with the new C++ dynamic debugging. Through my conversations with developers, I have heard a lot of frustrations when trying to debug optimized builds. For example, locals are optimized away. Often, this is a crucial piece of information you need to find that bug. Similarly, stepping isn't as reliable. Whenever you step in, step over, you just never know where the program counter might land. I've heard some developers using Pragma Optimize to remove optimizations. However, this is a very manual process and requires rebuilding. Some have even told me that they left this all the way through code reviews. Well, with C++ Dynamic Debugging, you will now receive full debuggability for your optimized builds without impacting performance. Throughout the whole process of building C++ Dynamic Debugging, we have worked very closely with our partners at Xbox. For example, Jess from the Coalition have told us that the feature is exceptional. Similarly, Keith has told us that they're happy that inline functions will now be hit. Similarly, Matthew from Halo, who has been using this daily, tells us they're very happy that it improves their ability to debug and investigate quicker. Well, I'm happy to share that this feature is available now in Visual Studio 1714 Preview 2. We have a very detailed blog on how to use the feature as well as how to set it up for your MS Build or Unreal Engine projects. For more detail, please visit aka.ms slash dynamic debugging. Well, let me show you how this works in action with the demo using Unreal Engine 5's Lara sample project. In this example, we have our Lara sample project running a full frames in the editor. Let's head to Visual Studio. Here, I'm going to activate my breakpoint on rendering code. Right away, you'll see in your call stack, you have the new deoptimized tag. This is an indication that this particular frame has now been deoptimized. Here, we can step into. Now you can see that we're in a force and line function, something that is previously not possible. We can then step out and step in again. We can then step through this function and see all of our local variables. We only deoptimize the frames you care about. Higher up in the call stack, it's not affected. For example, if we jump into this frame, you'll see that scene is optimized away. If you want to see the locals for this, you can select your frames with either Control or Shift, right click, then press Deoptimize on next entry. Once you press that, and then F5 to continue, you'll see that these frames 
are now de-optimized. Once we enter this frame, you can see that scene is now available. We store all your breakpoints in the breakpoint group. Once you're done with debugging, you can delete, disable this breakpoint, press continue. Now, see that we have full frames in the editor. This is the power of the new C++ dynamic debugging. I've shown you how you can use C++ dynamic debugging to see your optimized variables in your watch and locals. You can also de-optimize on next entry to further de-optimize frames. With C++ dynamic debugging, you'll unlock a full debug workflow from stepping to set next statement, even run to cursor. With C++ dynamic debugging, there are some considerations. Because we are building your project twice, you will see an increase in output size, as well as some impacts to your end-to-end -end build time, as well as iteration time. However, we're confident that this will significantly shave down your iteration time because you will no longer be needing to constantly rebuilding your project while you're trying to fix that bug. Especially getting back to that particular state, the bug has occurred. Dynamic debugging is supported on x64 only and does not support link time code generation profile guided optimization, opt ICF, and incremental linking. Dynamic debugging is supported by all your favorite middleware. For our Xbox console developers, this will be supported natively in the upcoming update. You will be able to find full support in Incredible 10.24, Fastbuild 1.0, dot one five as well as unreal engine 5.6 for both ubt and unreal build accelerator for our unreal engine developers you can try this out today please refer to our blog to cherry pick some changes and apply them to your unreal build tool c dynamic debugging is available today so please try it out by upgrading your Visual Studio to the latest version. This would not have been possible without all your feedback. Please continue to give us your feedback through social media or developer community. We would love to hear how you're using this feature, how it saves your time, and most importantly, how we can further improve it. Thank you and see you next time.